Welcome to part 2 of Battlefield 1 Captured, They Shall Not Pass Edition. Some more exclusive footage for you today, taking a big picture look at two new operations coming with the DLC. If you missed part 1, you can find that link down in the description, but let's get into this. So these new operations then. DICE recognised the popularity and success of the new game mode added with Battlefield 1, and they will be continuing to expand on it with every DLC published, but here with the They Shall Not Pass DLC, it's all about the French army, and the land that they fought so hard to protect from the Central Powers. Devil's Anvil and Beyond the Marne represent some of the biggest battles fought on the Western Front during the war, each of them having their own significance and differences. Let's start with Devil's Anvil, Battlefield 1's first infantry only operation. This combines the two new maps Verdun Heights and Fort Devaux into an all out battle on the approach to the French city of Verdun. You start out on Verdun Heights just after the monumental bombardment of the French forests by the German artillery. The map is just completely ablaze and the Germans need to push through the surviving village down the bottom and all the way up the scarred hillside, attempting to neutralise the French infantry presence at the same time. Underground bunkers are built into the hillside, making perfect trapping points for the French as the Germans expose themselves openly on the scorched earth. But there's a twist. Because this is an infantry only operation, you're unable to rely on the new behemoth, the Char 2C super heavy tank. So what do you get instead? Well you get a full arsenal of elite soldiers. The sentry kits with their VR Perosa and the MG08 machine gun, the flame trooper for flushing out those bunkers and the brand new trench raider, equipped with the raider club, grenades, smoke and revolver. This is going to get crazy. Should the French fail to hold back the tide of German attackers, the operation rolls around to the second map, the French fortress of Vaux. Starting in the muddy trenches outside, the Germans must push up the slopes, force the French back towards the concrete walls and take over the halls inside the fort. Once again, they'll be backed up by the elite classes, but here, the action gets even more claustrophobic. Fort DeVoe is a maze of corridors, hallways and rooms all connected together and the French could be hiding absolutely anywhere. Should the French fail in their attempts to stem the tide of the Germans, the Central Powers will have a clear route through to Verdun and surely the French army would crumble. The second operation, Beyond the Marne, flips that dim prospect for the French on its head and it puts them on the offensive. This operation embodies the huge tank assaults and the resurgence of the French army on the Western Front in 1918, some of the last days of World War I. And this takes the battle back to old grounds where the remainders of the Marne is a vehicle player's paradise. You start on the rolling map of Soissons, the French launching a massive six tank assault on the German held village. This operation is really for vehicle lovers. The Char 2C behemoth is on hand to help you this time should you need the reinforcement, but it is a downhill battle the whole way for the French. Where it gets a little bit tougher is the second map, Rupture. The flatter tank graveyard leaves long lines of sight open for scout soldiers to pick off French runners as they try to reclaim the old positions that are now fully overgrown with poppies. Operations has become one of Battlefield 1's best game modes and each of them represents massive historical significance. DICE have really captured the spirit of the German dominance at Verdun with the Devil's Anvil operation and the French retaliation across the rolling countryside in Beyond the Marne. Thank you very much for watching, that was part 2 of Battlefield 1 Captured, They Shall Not Pass edition. If you missed part 1, that's linked down below in the description and we looked at the brand new game mode, Frontlines. But until next time, my name is Westy and I'll catch you guys in the next video.